Coming up next, we determine the best strawweight on the planet, a matchup for the UFC women's 115-pound title. All right, so here she is, the number one 115-pound contender and a strawweight who many fans believe is the number one strawweight in the world. Now, thankfully, the best will fight the best. This is her chance to prove it. She is not the champion. She believes she will leave as such. And as she makes this walk, you hear the crowd behind her. She is looking to leave as the new UFC and strawweight champion. So much depth now at 115 pounds, but they're all still chasing her. Yeah, they are, the undisputed UFC strawweight champion. And she's got the confidence that belies the champion. As you see her make this walk here tonight, she won the belt with flying colors, defended it with style points, and that's the same goal here tonight. She really is a fighter that maintains a calm demeanor, takes it fight by fight. She has aspirations to be the greatest of all time. She is well on her way. Till the date for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC strawweight Championship of the world. Introducing folks. Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Presenting the challenger, John Magnum And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, six losses. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Irvine, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. There have been a lot of similar UFC moments in the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight. Should be a good Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Look at that switch feet. Beautiful switch feet. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown be? Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, that's a nice strike. 
Oh, a combination lands for her there. It's hard to recall a past fight of hers in which her striking has looked this fluid and poor. She's sharp as a tack. Sharp as a tack. Everything is landing. She's doing a great job. Big punch to the clinch. sean has got the tie clinch. She's got a good one. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well timed into the body. Takedown defense holds up. Shawn's got the tie clinch now. And they separate. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Nice three punch. It's such a fast leg kick. So just over 20 total strikes, which have landed for Whaley Shawn. That takedown attempt without issue. Nice punch there. Big body kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Esparza gets caught with that punch. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy tonight. Very busy, but also super accurate. She is on point. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. Man, she's got a pretty good left hand. Went to it there. She's a right hand. <laughs> Five minutes in the can. DC is back from the can. Here we go with the start of round two. Carla Esparza. And also ready to go, Wei Li Zhang. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. Uh, I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. 50 total strikes have landed for Wei Li Zhang. And landing with 59% accuracy against Carla Esparza. And there comes the separation now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. What a body kick. Ooh! And she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she stands. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly beautiful take there it is. So her best entry, I think, in terms of the offensive wrestling and the takedown attempts finally gets her opponent down for the first time. Tonight. It feels like she gave up on getting the takedown, so it started to flow more naturally. Right. She was not forcing her entries anymore. Just let it come to her, and now she's got the takedown to speak for. Under two minutes to go. 
Oh, she gives up her back here. So a case of pick your poison, and now she's gonna have to work hard defensively to prevent the fish. Oh, she's gotta protect her neck. That's the first thing. She's gotta really be aware of where her opponent's arms are. If her opponents get anywhere near her neck, she needs to really defend. Attack the top hand. The top hand is the choke hand. Make sure that top hand is always yours. When you grab it, keep it. It belongs to you now. And then start to work to try to get to your base and get back to your feet. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition game. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Esparza. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it here. She does a really good job of throwing punches with intent. She never just throws just to be throwing. Every punch is meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a finish. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That's a big strike right there. Visibly limping here. Leg kick checked nicely by Esparza. Many of these have landed with authority. 79 total strikes which have landed for Wei Li Zhang. Pretty good connects. Oh, beautiful scramble by her there to avoid the takedown and get this fight back to the field. Oh, man, I thought that was going to connect, but once again, she's just super effective at slipping strikes. Little small movements. None of her actions are big. It's a slight movement right, slight movement left to find herself to her to slip right and come back for a count. Nice takedown to the return. Return. there. Promptly scrambles back to her feet. Well done. Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty active. Another beautiful takedown lane. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Nice hammer fist. Zhang's back in half goal. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Sean's trying to lock up on a submission now. Gotta be careful, Arbar. Oh, we're getting to finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, there she is as the celebration continues for the UFC Women's Strawweight Champion. Getting it done with style points here tonight. She is your champion and your winner by submission.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm bar and new Glory celebrating with her team, the new UFC strawweight champion. Not a lot of the pundits were picking her to win this fight tonight. Those gentlemen and ladies can eat some crow. I did. I didn't expect her to win this fight, but tonight is the last time I'll ever doubt her. What a performance.